money saving tips some things that you may you may need to hear by if you are really on like a very strict budget this may help you out <laughs> What's up guys, it's your girl in Chrome Mercedes and welcome back to my channel. The sunset looks really nice, but clearly I am running out of daylight. So hopefully we can do this quickly. I went to Costa Rica last September and as you saw the Costa Rica travel series, I had a blast. It was amazing and just in case any of you guys want to go, here are some tips and tips, tricks, and information that you should know before you even get there, while you're there, and how to plan your trip. So let's dive in right now. The first thing you might need to know or want to know is the time difference. I live on the East Coast, so Costa Rica is two hours behind Eastern Standard Time. The thing that's crucial you need to know is how are you even getting into the country and are there any parameters around you actually having to go in. On January 13th of 2023, there was an announcement that was made there are no special COVID requirements for anyone to get into Costa Rica, except for if you are traveling from China, Hong Kong, Macau, M-A-C-A-O, I think that's how you say it, and Taiwan. And that had to be from if you're traveling there within the last 14 days of when you're going to get into Costa Rica. Also must provide a PCR, an RT, or an antigen tests with negative result by a lab test less than 72 hours before entering and also anyone over 12 must have documents with up-to-date covid vaccination you must have must have a round trip ticket in and out or at least a get an out ticket regardless if you are returning back home or you're traveling somewhere else before you get to costa rica they want to know if you have a ticket getting the hell out of their country. They will ask you at customs, when are you leaving? <laughs> and I thought it was a joke until I got to customs. They said, oh honey, where are you staying? When are you leaving? Oh, also pro tip, make sure that you take a photo of your passport or at least like scan it and document have, besides the physical passport, have a physical copy or at least one on your phone just in case something happens, you lose it, it gets stolen, and somehow you can get to an embassy and make sure you can go home. So I can say from the United States side, we do not need a visa to get into Costa Rica. However, it also does depend on what country you're coming in from will determine if you need a visa or not. If you're going to Costa Rica as a tourist from the United States, you do not need a visa, dot, dot, dot. However, you are going to need one after 90 days. Like we're up as a tourist, you're allowed to stay in Costa Rica up to 90 days. But if you plan on staying longer, you need a visa and you need to apply to visa. I'm guessing before your time runs out, because I think you got to leave and then wait for the visa to jump back in here. Okay, third. So clearly language barrier. Everyone there speaks Spanish, but depending on where you go, a lot of people speak English. Some kind of broken English, others might be fluent. Um, it just depends on where you're at. If you're more touristy area, then yeah, you would be fine. We were going to Taramindo. There were a lot of people there who spoke English, so it wasn't like a culture shock. But if you're going to go and I actually got sick and had to go to the pharmacy. So before I left where I was staying at, I made sure to actually look up the product and what it was in Spanish and use a translator app to help me at least talk to one of the pharmacists. Places to stay. There are clearly so many places that you can stay. Um, I actually went through booking.com to find mine, but you can go to Priceline. So this is also if you want to be a little budget conscious. I was more so in the middle, right? You know, because I like luxury, but like is expensive but I need like my own space so I kind of did a little bit more right so before I even went to and found a place to stay I was trying to figure out where to actually go in Costa Rica so Taramindo is on the Pacific side Tamarindo is one of the most popular beach towns that are, is in Costa Rica especially on that coast there are a lot of um, there are a lot of beach towns 
on the Pacific Coast. So where we ended up staying was this place called Selena, which is definitely for a lot of, it caters for digital nomads and it's hostel style, but I'm not really like hostel kind of like material as in like living in like the rooms where it's four, five, six, eight people. I had to share a room in college. I just, I think I'm a little too old at this point for that. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it one day, but I just wasn't feeling it. And at first I was supposed to, this originally was like a solo trip. So I personally just would have felt more comfortable in a my own room. So luckily the Selena um, properties all have multiple options. So I stayed in my own room and then eventually then Raven ended up joining the uh, me on the trip. Hey Ray. We had suites. So you had the um, You had a, your own s separate room separate shower situation because the hostels The I saw rooms I believe were probably like three four six eight depending on like there were different size buildings I just I like Blanched into a building, but mama wasn't staying in it. They also had like I said, it's for a digital nomad space They really cater towards them. So there's a whole co-working space, which was really cool So most I saw a couple people in there all day So they did have a couple of desktop computers But then you also had everyone with their laptops and stuff the Wi-Fi was actually really good on site Which was a plus there was a fire pit. We had a pool. They did surf lessons in the pool Which I thought was really cool and um and then they went around the the street around the corner down the street to the beach and then also like on site like restaurant slash bar bro the food we're gonna get to the food section but travel thing is when you get off the plane before you get to costa rica set up your travel from the airport unfortunately our place actually had shuttles and then they said, oh, our shuttles don't run anymore because of COVID. I was like, all right. And they didn't know when they were starting up again. But I'm like, but your website says you have it. So went to the Googles and found a shuttle company that had a van that was like, all right, you can schedule ahead of time. So we paid ahead of time, <sighs> although it took them forever to even get there. And when you get off of the plane, and you're waiting don't go outside like i went outside to see if my car was there i was hounded by a couple of people who were like oh is this do you have a car you need a car you need a car no i ordered one it's cool and the issues when you really look a little lost i'm like damn i was trying to find raven she didn't come out of, i came through customs first it was a whole ordeal but we finally met up and my drive wasn't there. So I finally got the company, like the number again, called them and they're like, oh yeah, they're on their way. Uh, the guys outside would be like, oh, just take one of these cabs. Er, no, 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 don't get played. Stay out of my face. You paid ahead of time, wait for the taxis for you. There's no reason to double pay. There's also a bus that goes to Terramendo, right? But the thing is, it's a city bus. And at first I was like, oh, that might not be that bad. But it only comes like maybe once every three-ish hours. And apparently it's not really reliable. And it's not inside the airport. You gotta like go across the street to the airport. And if you miss it, like I said, it's not for like another couple of hours. But apparently the bus the buses don't have AC. They're always crammed, so you're not even guaranteed a spot, even if you get a ticket beforehand. That is wild. No. So we were like, we're gonna, <laughs> I guess we're gonna spend the money for a, a, a shuttle van. And Ooh. then going into bills, the currency. So in Costa Rica, their money situation is called a colon. As of March 2023, and I actually want to say probably two days ago, so probably around the 24th or so, is for every dollar would equal a 539 colons, which actually that's a hundred less than what it was when 
we went to Costa Rica in September. USD is accepted in Costa Rica and some places might actually be preferred. So what you will do, do not exchange your money at the airport. Everybody tells you that and it's true. Don't exchange money at the airport. You want to uh, bring your money and go local. What I did, I ended up actually going to the bank and I asked them, I was like, I'm leaving the country, I want small bills. And I'm talking, I want nothing higher than a 20. I want 20, 10, five ones. And then I broke up as much money as I took. I took a couple hundred and I split them up, put it in multiple different places. And the small, it's so much easier. We downloaded, I gotta see what app I did. I downloaded an app to make sure because some of the places were not going to say like, oh, this is a dollar, this is three dollars. It was going to say, oh, this is 2,000 Cologne. I need to know what the exchange rate is. I need to know in real time, this is what you, uh, uh, this is what you owe me. And also, I did bring a card. Some places did accept card. I think, yeah, like on my birthday, my birthday dinner, we did, um, we used cards and it was fine. So a lot of places do accept it. But then you got to remember to hit your bank hit your bank and let them know you leaving the country. All of a sudden, I'm really starting to lose the light, babes. Hold on. Oh okay, yeah, so just make sure to transfer all your money before you leave. Take out as much cash as you need before you leave. I did not go to an ATM. They did have, I think they had a few ATMs, but again, I'm really antsy about using ATMs out of the country. So if you don't need to do it, don't do it. Okay, next one. I think this is group like number seven, excursions. Before you get on that plane and leave where you live, you wanna figure out what are you gonna do when you're in Costa Rica. There are so many options, especially if you're an outdoorsy person, you're going to love this. But I will say is make sure, again, a lot of the excursions, especially if you're using like Viter, um, that's what I did, Airbnb, you have to pay before you do the excursion. And most excursions don't include gratuity in them, so just be mindful when you're like actually, uh, just be mindful when you're buying the excursion that you need to bring some money so that you could tip your tour guide. So there's different variety of things that you can do. They definitely have rafting. I know they had um, rappelling on and climbing down waterfalls, hiking, which we went on because we did a hike through the Amazon. Um, there's, you know, going to waterfalls, there's zip lining, ATV riding, horseback riding. So they have surfing, catamarans, uh, then you also had like the sunset cruises. They also had, you know, if you want to go um, paddle boarding, uh, going to, they have a lot of national parks. Costa Rica is clearly known for its wildlife. Known, like they preserve the land and the animals and it's like, it's very, very important to them. So there's so many national parks that you can go and look at. Also, in case you're wondering, you can drink the water in Costa Rica. They ate fresh right out the tap too. Like tap water, you can drink it. Ooh, next to my favorite, probably one of my favorite things, about that trip, the food, 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 food. There was great food everywhere. Like, it was not giving starvation. We're full to the max. Everything was good. So even starting, starting from where we stayed at Selena, them chefs, even my bre breakfast, right? Let's go even from breakfast. I had the first thing I had, I had a cheese omelet with avocado toast the avocado toast had radishes tomatoes and thing like salt and pepper like like probably one of the best breakfasts i've ever had in my life multiple times we had the traditional costa rican meal the biggest meal of the day is a uh, lunch there traditional costa rican meal has a rice and black beans uh, there's always a protein, so you already had meat, beef, you know, there's beef, chicken, fish, etc. Uh, plantains. They also had salad and or fruit. And Tamarindo had, there's so many different varieties of, like, restaurants. 
that were within walking distance. A couple months away, there was another food court that was a little bit more, it was definitely sit down, a little more upscale, super cute, kind of beach club vibes. And that's where we had like Asian fusion dinner, which was so good. Uh, Cause it was Thai. They had, Pili had like some American style food. We do not eat that. Uh, there were clearly Japanese because we also had sushi. Then we went to, went to this locally owned place for my birthday. The food was phenomenal. Like the red snapper I had, they caught it. They caught it that morning. Like when I mean fresh, the seafood here, the seafood clearly makes sense because y'all are right on the beach, but the seafood at every single place we went to was so fresh. I had a seafood broil, oil, yeah, <laughs> from this Italian restaurant that was right on the corner from Selena. Oh my God. Like if I thought somebody's Nona made that pasta, adored it. And honestly, a lot of places actually were reasonably priced. Like I think my snapper, of course, it, we spent more money because drinks, but uh, like my birthday, I think we did, like I had a red, the red snapper with like, it was that with like a couscous or no, I think it came with like a mushroom risotto. Yeah, I think it was a mushroom risotto. And it was without like the drink, the massive drink that I got, cause we got this like bread sangria, which was so nice. Um, how much was it? I think it's been less than $20. If you were definitely like more on like a like a smaller budget than we did, like I went and budgeted, but I was like, you know, I saved up for it, so it wasn't that bad. But if you're really on like a tight, like if you are backpacking, I'm living with seven other people on this stay because I'm trying to stretch my money, then you should go to some of the local sodas, which are like the small like local restaurants, because you will get a cheap Costa Rican meal like a good good meal like full the whole traditional meal but you'll get it for really really cheap so it'd probably be about three to four thousand cologne my bad so we're looking at probably about four dollars or so then you can also have like we had empanadas from this little spot that's like a little uh a little shack that's like right near the beach and i think it was only two thousand cologne okay speaking of dinero so money saving tips some things that you may you may need to hear by if you are really on like a very strict budget this may help you out depending on what you're trying to do costa rica is one of the most expensive central american countries to visit one of the major things right off the jump is traveling with on the off season right off season starts from late april to november right because that's rainy season. That is when we went. That's when things are the cheapest uh, because yeah, half the time it be raining, right? So luckily it doesn't rain all the time, right? It rained every other day when we were there. But the couple days we have when there's no rain, oh my God, it was what, 80, 85 degrees, perfect weather. And the water was very warm. Okay, secondly, you might have to avoid tour activities. If you were on a very tight budget because some of those activities will cost it's gonna cost you some money like especially if you're doing an all-day tour those are usually honestly 150 200 plus so and that's per person so if you are like if the purse strings you got to clutch them a little bit I don't suggest going on them. there's definitely a lot of free activities things you could do and you can find next you want to visit the caribbean side because apparently the caribbean side by like puerto viejo it is a lot cheaper on the caribbean side apparently and that is actually one of the um, places i want to visit uh, the next time i go next you do want to avoid tourist bus like all the tourist buses that go through so i'm guessing their version of like peter pan bus type thing or whatever um because they are a lot more expensive. Like I said earlier, there is a local bus that is half the cost. 
but the downside is to it people are saying it's not very reliable and like the schedule you can do the schedule but like sometimes they be running on their own time so last but not least was the nightlife in costa rica honestly like <laughs> i was not expecting that <laughs> where we stayed at again we were in tamarindo so we went from sunday through saturday so for a couple days it really wasn't like doing much we went out we went to dinner here and there but like a lot of the bars were pretty much dead throughout the week in jail thursday friday actually it's from from wednesday wednesday thursday friday yeah it was lit <laughs> like it definitely clearly i guess they think that people halfway through the week is when more tourists start coming and you come in and out i don't know like we went to pacifico on my birthday i think it was a thursday last year yeah pacifico so wednesday night we went to this place where were we at uh where the hell we going went to rumors so there's a bar so we've gone to a couple of different bars before for like a happy hour thing or lunch to see how to see the drinks drinks were good uh rumors was really dope and it was kind of i feel like more it was a specialty so they had like a lot of clearly oh let's the tequila guys i'm a tequila girl oh i was so happy went to pacifico which was this bar but they pretty much turned into a club and I remember, it was amazing. I loved it. I was not expecting it. They also had, it was like indoor, outdoor. So like the half the roof was gone. And I remember that night, it was my birthday. So like we went to dinner and then we went there, had some drinks and waited. And the crowd just started like filing in. And then the, at one point, cause I think it went to like 2.30 and we're in the middle of this like club, but it starts raining but you don't even care like it's it was so amazing then i was more blown because i was raven told me but i was not prepared to not like they really like all my current people right like especially jamaican bro they really go up for a dance hall like go up for it and i was flabbergasted i did not know like i kept looking around like where am i I'm so like <laughs> sitting it was crazy they really out here like they really really re like they love the music crazy monkeys bar which is probably like a uh, 15 minute walk well, although we ended up having to walk home in the freaking rain because oh all those taxis I run every single day oh we need a ride, we need a ride. We need a ride. the day I actually needed a ride I couldn't get a ride and it was pouring and lucky for me I because I knew it was supposed to rain I brought a poncho so we brought our ponchos but we had to walk back home crazy monkeys bar is like this rooftop bar and they had salsa night so and they had like two at least two different DJs set up and there's a pool out there too it was really chill like I actually did enjoy it um, I will say though like whatever drink I don't know what drink it was it is. that bartender that was not good child. the nightlife that was in San Marindo it was lit like I had a good time <laughs> we, had, we had a really really good time but overall I definitely think that there's something for everybody no matter what you like to do in Costa Rica guys we had massages on the beach at sunset for sailing on and jumping off of catamarans going and swimming to private islands went hiking in the amazon to go look at majestic waters pictures and video did not do it justice you got to see it with your own eyes that trip made my heart full i sat here and ended the night drinking on the beach listening to renaissance just no cares in the world it was absolutely stunning i am totally going back to costa rica but thank you guys so much for watching and go watch the costa rica coast am i dumb costa rica wow why did that sound so odd to me go watch the costa rica series that i have and i'm gonna see you guys next time 
Bye.